Hey all, so I did a recent gameplay, Barbarian the Ultimate Warrior, very violent, bloody game that was originally released in 1987 for Commodore 64 and later as Death Sword in Europe. It's a simple game and very unforgiving, one death and you're out. And this was based on the homebrew version, though I'm not sure if the original version was more forgiving. I have heard that this version may have had less lag, which doesn't say much because I did experience quite a bit of lag initially upon play. One of the things I actually really enjoyed was the unapologetic box art for the original title. This really was a testament to the classic 80s, from the dark candidate design to the unapologetic apparel the people were wearing. Obviously with the barbarian theme, the male figure has no shirt and somebody probably saw him doing presses at Gold's Gym prior to the hire. <laughs> The woman has something that, depending on the viewer, wouldn't even classify as real clothing, unless you're at a swimming pool. That being said, the actual character I found who modeled this role spent quite a bit of time in pools, just to level with everyone. That being said, I did reverse image search. Why do you ask? Because I could, and also, I'm not going to share some of the results. But I am certain that this lady is Sabrina Salerno, and let me tell you why. The results of the image search returned images based on similar appearances. Natalie Wood, Sabrina Salerno, and Priscilla Presley. My flawless analysis returned the following. Natalie Woods is a definite no-go. She died in 1981 at a not young age. Priscilla Presley was in her early 40s at the time of the game release, and I don't recall a lot of well-known modeling for her at the time. She was already a famous part of the Elvis family. I've heard police work is dangerous. It is, that's why I carry a big gun. Aren't you afraid it might go off accidentally? I used to have that problem. And what did you do about it? I just think about baseball. Sabrina Salerno was the last culprit. She's currently in her early 50s, takes great care of herself, and more than fits the mold of this box art. Though I couldn't find anything related to her credit of this game, she certainly had an ongoing modeling career at this point in the 80s, and even had a cult following that persists to this day, if you check out Reddit. Overall, though, it was fun researching who this person was, and I had to circle the tree a bit to actually figure out if it was really her, which came down to the perception based on older images where the facial angle and lighting wasn't exact to include washed out color scaling. Either way, don't you want to try the game now? Feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and more to come.